What's up everybody, Chris Mary here back again with another video. We are going to be talking about the news that Red just dropped on the filmmaking community as of yesterday. At 2.53 p.m., Jared made a post on Red User describing that they are doing away with the entire weapon line of cameras. What? Not exactly what you think. They're not like completely, it's a little confusing, but also much more simplified than the way it has been. So 2.53 p.m. yesterday, which depending on when you're watching this, today is the 22nd. So at 2.53 p.m. on the 21st of May, Jared Land made a post on reduser.net stating that they are going away from the weapon line and consolidating their cameras down to a new unified body called the DSMC2 line. Now, that may seem also a little confusing considering that all their new style body cameras were being labeled as DSMC2 cameras, but they kind of went off the rails a little bit with the type of cameras they had. Where it was kind of simple at first, it started with, they announced the Raven, well the weapon actually. So there was the weapon, and then they announced the Raven, and then the Scarlet W, and then the Epic W. But then in that time, they also had these like custom cameras they were making and they had the Monstro. Then they announced Gemini and it was kind of like all over the place. It got confusing for red users. It got confusing for rental houses. It got confusing for clients and productions that want to pick a camera and they don't know what to do. Cause they're like, well, what's new? And what, do we need the 8K Vista Vision? And like, what's Gemini? It's good in low light, but that's 5K and not 8K. And, it just got a little crazy. The way they used to be was pretty simple. It was a Scarlet and an Epic. The Scarlet was the more affordable, few less options version of the Red than the Epic. Pretty simple. And then they, which is awesome because they opened this market of a lower budget price point to be able to jump in, have access to Red professional digital cinema cameras. And that was great. So the Raven and Scarlet W line lowered the price points there. Uh, the Epic W came out and it gave 8K very affordable, but there was just so many cameras. So that is the main reason why they kind of doubled down and consolidated these things. So I'm kind of rambling on here, just giving you a brief history lesson on the way it's been. Let's get to the meat of this update. So in Jared's post, he states, our camera lineup, as most of you could agree, has gotten a little bloated and confusing. This brain with this sensor, but do get these frame rates you need to have. So basically there's three cameras now. Well, one body with three sensors. And those sensors are the Monstro 8K Vista Vision sensor, the Helium 8K Super 35 sensor. Technically there's another sensor, the Helium AK Super 35 monochrome sensor. And then the Gemini sensor, 5K. So those are your options for cameras moving forward. They all have the same exact body style, just like they used to with DSMC1 lines. DSMC2, single body style, three or four technically with monochrome, different sensors. Price points of these. Now this is where it gets a little hairy for people that have invested in the past. So the Monstro AK VistaVision sensor is coming in at $54,500. Then we have the Helium, I, I wanna say Epic W, but it's not Epic W, Epic W's out, no such thing anymore. The Helium AK sensor, Super 35, 24, five. So 24,500. Also cheaper than the Epic W was. And they're adding 60 frames a second in 8K to this. Now the 8K Monstro VistaVision sensor has 17 plus stops of dynamic range while the Helium 8K Super 35 sensor will have 16.5 plus stops of dynamic range. So there's little differences there. The, all those specs though, you can find on red.com to read up. I'm not gonna bore you to death with all that stuff, even though I know a lot of you are interested, but check out red.com. They have all the information and comparisons you need. I went on a little bit of a tangent there, but we have the Gemini 5K sensor, Super 35 the newest of the bunch. And this is their low light beast, but they lowered the price on that camera as well. And now it is coming in at a price point of $19,500 when it was just out for like, I think 24 or five or something like that. It's got the users up in arms because they're, they're upset. They spent a lot of money invested in these cameras and now the 
the whole model's changing, the whole price point's changing, and some people are out, out money in a way of their, they're more, the worth of their camera has changed, more likely. But I'm sure Red will do something there, I'm hoping to kind of compensate or make it balanced and even. So what about you people that have Reds now that were DSMC2 but not their version of the DSMC2 base streamline body style? So let's say you own a Scarlet W, like right here. Let's say you own a Raven, like right there. Let's say you own an Epic W. Let's say you own a Gemini right now. Like, what does this mean for you? So they are offering upgrade paths like Red is always known to do. Now, the upgrade from a Scarlet W to a DSMC2 Gemini is $12,500. The price of a Scarlet W is $12,500. So if you take your Scarlet W and upgrade it to a Gemini, it will cost you more money than just buying a Gemini outright. But it will cost less money than buying a Gemini outright too, technically that makes sense. You'd probably be better off selling your Scarlet W and then buying a Gemini outright, right? Yeah, that makes sense. So if you don't wanna spend 19,500 on a Gemini, you have the option to get it cheaper, but it's gonna, in the long run, cost more than it would have to just buy it outright. So what if you have a DSMC-1 Dragon camera and you wanna go Gemini? For 14,500, you can do that. You could take your DSMC-1 Dragon, throw 14,500 bucks into it, and upgrade to the Gemini sensor. That's up to you if that seems worthwhile price point or would you rather just sell your camera and then buy it outright at 19.5. And then for upgrading Epic W to the new DSMC2 Epic W, which will allow you the 60 frames a second in 8K, that is gonna cost you 4,950. Sadly, if you bought an Epic W for 29,000, for roughly $30,000, you have to pay another $5,000 to get the specs of the camera that they now sell for $24,000, $25,000. So this is where it kind of like, a lot of users feel upset, I get it. A lot of people are in full support of this and a lot of people are kind of up in arms about this. And I, I get both sides, I really do, because I, mean, I have a little more to talk about on this, but I'm gonna just offer a little bit of opinion. So to me, I think this is a very good move for Red to move forward. I feel like this is the way DSMC2 should have been from the start. It got a little convoluted, a little confusing, but this makes things easier. You know the three cameras, you know that there's a 5K low light version of the camera, there's an 8K camera, and then there's the VistaVision 8K camera. Three cameras, three different markets of price points, very simple and fairly closely related in price. This will just be easier for clients hiring as well because then you don't have to spend too much time trying to explain like, yes, it's a DSMC2, so yeah, for instance, like I did a gig and it's like, I have a Scarlet W, but it's not the Scarlet you think, it's like the newer Scarlet, it's in a weapon body, but it's a 5K sensor. Oh, it's a helium? No, it's not a helium, it's a Dragon 5K sensor in a weapon style body, so DSMC2, but the components, it'll you can work with the, Epic W and use the same accessories and components, but the, it doesn't have IPP2 in camera like the Epic W does, so you'll have to you, do the IPP2 in post. Like explaining this can get confusing and then they're just like, uh, what, I'd rather just stick with the Epic W and that makes sense. We're now, this will kind of be a streamlined ecosystem. They'll all match and talk to each other. You don't have to worry about that. We are, I mean, Gemini and Helium are different sensors. Enough of me talking though, let's get back to it. So on red.com, this is an official post by Red and I'll kind of read it word for word just so I don't miss anything. So as of May 21st, 2018, Red revamped its camera offerings. Red now offers the following three cameras. The DSMC2 Monstro, which will offer the same tech specs as the earlier Weapon Monstro 8K VistaVision camera. DSMC2 Helium offers the same tech specs used as the Weapon Helium 8K Super 35 sensor. And then the DSMC2 Gemini offers better data rates and red code settings than the Epic W 5K Super 35 Gemini camera, while still offering the same features and functionality now available in aluminum alloy. So there are little minor tweaks there for Gemini as well, which is interesting. What if you place an order for a camera that is no longer offered? If you place an order for a camera and that camera is not shipped yet, your order will be updated to the DSMC2 camera 
that has the same sensor and as the camera you ordered. For example, if you ordered a Weapon Helium AK Super 35 sensor, your order will be changed to the DSMC2 Helium. If whatever you ordered, if the newer version costs more, you do not have to pay the difference. You kind of get away from there. But it seems to me like all the prices kind of gone down. So I'm not sure how that would affect you. Can you upgrade to one of the new cameras? The cameras that are eligible to be upgraded to these new DSMC2 body slash new sensor style reds. The Weapon Helium AK Super 35 is upgradable. The Epic W Helium AK Super 35 is upgradable. Weapon Red Dragon 6K is upgradable. Epic W Gemini 5K Super 35 upgradable. Scarlet W Red Dragon 5K Super 35 upgradable. Epic Dragon Scarlet Dragon all upgradable. What cameras are not upgradable? The red one, I'm surprised they still even include that in talks, but it's nice. There are still red one users out there. That's kind of off the table. Red Epic Mysterium X is off. Scarlet Mysterium X is off, can upgrade. The Red Raven cannot upgrade and the Weapon Monstro AK Vista Vision can upgrade because it has the same specs as the current Monstro Vista Vision AK. So there's no sense in upgrading it when it's the same camera. And that's basically it. That's all we know of as of now, which is actually a lot to know. They kind of just pulled this out overnight. Um, I'm sure it's been in the works for a while, actually. I shouldn't say pulled it out overnight, but it came as a surprise to a lot of people. To me, personally, I think for Red as a company, this is a smart move moving forward. This is the way it should have been from the start, in my honest opinion. They have their price points worked out. They have that streamlined now, the three cameras they want to use. This makes sense to me. Now the people that own a Raven or a Scarlet W or purchased the old Epic W or the people that were early investors in this line, it could work as a benefit or I could see the negatives as well. I see why everyone's upset, but I also see why everyone's excited. It's a weird line and I think it'll all iron itself out over time, but sadly there's a little bit of collateral damage that has to be taken in the process. This is what happens with technology. It supersedes itself all the time. Um, you, you hear the cell phone uh, argument a lot, where it's like, well, phones update every year. It's like, yeah, but phones also don't cost $55,000 or whatnot. Such is investing in being an owner operator. This is the way the market works. You just gotta stay on top of it and stay afloat. And I know plenty of people out there still using uh, Epic Dragon 6K cameras and working plenty fine. So it's not like this is like the death of your camera or anything. The Scarlet W, I'm sure, will get a lot more work to come just because it moved to 8K. That's why the Gemini is in 5K. This all moves so fast, but at the same time, if you think about it, I got this Raven here, August 2016, and right now it's May 2018. Like, I've already almost had this camera for two years, which is crazy to me. If you're making money off of these cameras, I mean, it kind of, I get it, it gets old trying to upgrade and keep up and all that, but you don't always have to chase technology. And if you do, Red does offer upgrade specials or options to do that. And, and like I said, there's also the option of just selling your camera and buying it out, right? Since they're cheaper now. So if you're looking to get into Red now, best time to do it, right this second. I, want, I don't want to use the word future-proof, but I think this is good moving forward overall. So that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think, your opinions. Do you think this is a good move for Red? Were you affected by these changes negatively or positively? I wanna hear the people that are excited. I wanna hear from the people that, I wanna hear insight of people that may have invested in the Monstro or the, the weapon line, for instance. Like everyone that invested in the weapon 6K cameras, Dragon 6K or the Weapon Helium. And as for me, I feel like I'm the level of red that I own with the Scarlet W here on the shelf and the Raven. I just don't think that I'm affected too much from this. But what this did do though was open my eyes of, oh, maybe I wanna jump in now and uh, go Gemini or AK. So for me, hey Brendan, we should sell these two cameras and get that Helium AK Super 35 camera, okay? All right, so we'll do that, that seems fun. All right, well, I wasted enough of your time. I just wanted to keep you in the loop so you know what was going on and what you probably saw all over the internet or heard a little bit about. So thank you. I will see you in the next video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that like button. Is that what they say? Hit that like button. Smash it. All right, peace.